Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Daredevil issue number eight in a book that has no right to being this damn good, considering that there was literally one page worth of action in this book. Wow. Let's get talking about who made this book, and then I will continue gushing over it until the very end of days. Okay, No Devils, Only God, Part 3, Chip Zardosky is the writer, Lalit uh, Kumar Sharma is the penciler, Jay Lyson is on inks, Java Tartaglia on colors... VC's Clayton Cowles doing the letters, and the cover art is by Chip Sardosky. Damn, that's a good cover. Lanille Francis Yu and Sunny Go do Marvel's 25th tribute variant cover art and stuff like that. So, we move on, and we see Matt Murdock hitting on that married chick. <laughs> he deserves everything that happens to him from this point on, man. He winds up realizing that he is now eating dinner in the home of a crime family. <laughs> how do we do this? Oh my God, how did this knucklehead do this? And he got so freaking, he got called out because here is former district attorney, former deputy mayor, former mayor sitting in the, the kitchen, the, the dining room, I should say, of one of... New York's biggest crime families. Ah, uh, well, you know, Earth 616 style. Oh my God. <laughs> that is freaking great. That is, that is just so precious. This idiot, Matt Murdock, he screwed up big time in this one, dude. He has to sit there and talk to these guys. And at one point they call him out for who he is. And it's like, you know, do you know who we are? And he's like, say no, say no, say no. But he's like, yes, you're... And he just goes on and on. And he starts giving exploits in history, everything that he knows about this family. And they're just sitting there. And it's funny because you see three generations of this family, the beginning, the current, and then the kids who, like, since they were born into this, they don't get how freaky this is. And they're just like, yeah, that's right. Oh, what you going to do? What? It's like the mom doesn't talk like that. There's no reason for you to be talking like that. That doesn't make any kind of sense. So, yeah, this oh, this is just perfect. This is such a perfect freaking comic book that can be turned into a script. God, this is something I want to see the good fellas talking about. You know, this is something I want to see. Like Joe Pesci sitting in a room and Robert De Niro and... And uh, what do you call it? Al Pacino's over there also. And Scorsese is freaking directing this thing. Like, this is the stuff that I want to see. I am thoroughly impressed by how glued I was to this comic book. I read my comic books usually in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? So having this this free time is, is an important thing. It's, it's valuable sleep time I'm losing. But, dude, you can't read this comic book while kids are playing in the background or fireworks are going off or the, you know, the significant other is talking about, hey, did you get milk? Nah, you need privacy when you're reading this, dude. Just, wow. Uh, the Wilson Fisk part in here was cool, too. Uh, he goes out, you know, he's the current mayor of New York, and he goes out uh, duck hunting at a, a local pond with the governor of New York. I think that's supposed to be Cuomo in real life, but in Earth 616 is some other cat. And I, like the whole time in my head, I'm thinking, is Zardoski just gonna pull a Dick Cheney here and get some gubernatorial buckshot in this dude's culo? Cause it actually would have to be in his face. <laughs> like he's gonna go with Dick Cheney on him. Didn't quite happen, didn't quite need to happen either. When the governor, when these two start talking and you send, like, like the, Wilson, the governor calls out Wilson at one point. Wilson turns around and puts him on blast. And then the governor turns around and lets him know exactly who he's talking to also. Oh, Fisk throws something back at him at the very end of the conversation, too. But, like, this is literally, this is like a game of chess between these two. Got your pawn, got your pawn, got your knight, got your bishop. And they're just, they're going back and forth with each other. And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, man. I didn't even know who to root for for this one. This was a great book. This, mm. Don't expect any action in this. Okay, there, like I said, there's one page 
full of action in this. Daredevil does not show up. It's just Matt Murdock the entire time. As it's been for a while, a quick mask scene does appear. But I'm telling you, you're going sit to sit reading this book glued to every single word that is written. You're going to want to go back and read this again. And the second reading... Although you already know what's about to happen, will not be any uh, any any more disappointing. You know what I'm saying? It, it will still be as excellent as the first time. This is a really good book. This is one of those books that you pull out of your shelves uh, several months from now when you don't have uh, you know anything to do. It was a bad comic book week, and you're like, you know what? I want to read Daredevil issue number eight by Zardowski again because it's worth it. This is a Freaking awesome book, guys. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.